Hola everyone! Buenos dias! So it's Monday morning. What's the date? 23rd, I think. 23rd, we think. We don't we usually care too much what Lose date it is. Uh, we're, going, we're off to. Uh, we just left um, Samara. Tried to get some money out of the bank machine, and there isn't any, but that's not uncommon. So <laughs> I think she's on empty. So we'll have to hit a bank on the way. There's a couple banks on the way. We're going through to Liberia Airport to pick up a buddy of mine. Kind of a teen teenage buddy of mine when we were teenagers we hung out together we haven't seen each other that much for the last probably 20 or 30 years we've kind of reconnected we're uh, gonna take him around look at some properties yes he's interested in uh, not moving here permanently but he's interested in wintering here uh, so uh, we're gonna Let's take, take him, him around, around scout some properties for looking him. at some properties and we looked at a few properties for him already uh, he kind of knows what he wants, but he's kind of he's changing his mind a little bit. But he hasn't never been here. Matter of fact, he's never been anywhere as far as flying goes. It's the first time he's ever flown. But he does fly so, helicopters. Yes, he likes to fly helicopters. So, but anyway, that's where we're off to. It's about an hour and forty minute drive, and we're not about not even half an hour yeah, into it. We might really. we might pop to the Dewey Center too. We might take you there. Yeah. Right? So we're on. Go to Price Mart. We're gonna just we might just have a few look for a few things for the casitas. When we go um, to, sorry. But we're not sure yet because uh, we're, we're thinking about taking a run to Panama next month and going over to Panama and doing some shopping there because it's dirt cheap. Yeah, a lot cheaper in Panama. So Panama. we're thinking of maybe going back and visiting our Costa Rican family in uh, Perez Eladon and then and also, going through with them possibly to Panama. And also Panama now, they're not requiring you to do a PCR test now. So if you're vaccinated, and we're both vaccinated, so... Yes, apparently that's the word, is that Panama, you don't need to have the test, you have to have proof of vaccination. So that's good, because that saves you like $230. Nicaragua apparently has not gone that way yet. Do not take our word on that 100%. Well, because, I looked on the uh, website as far last as we know. night and it hasn't changed. And that was as of yeah. uh, April 21st. Yeah. It's not changed yet, so but Panama has uh, for the entry requirements. So, like I said, because it's two hundred and thirty dollars, it's two hundred, it's one hundred and fifteen um, dollars each to have our PCR test. Because to go into Nicaragua, it has to be a PCR test. They won't accept an antigen test. Yeah. So it's just two hundred and thirty bucks. And I'm like, well, bugger it. We might as well just freaking go to Panama, right? Yep. I mean, the gas, gas is not cheap here right now. Same as everywhere no. else in the world. Yeah, gas is. Uh, I think it's close to being on part of what it is in Ontario and yeah. Canada as far as we know because we have obviously relatives and people there well plus in Nova, our son's in Nova Scotia yeah. and I think it's about the same there it's in around it's been more it's bouncing around the two dollar mark a little bit less here it's about a buck 80 85 a liter give or take about a buck 80 buck 85 yeah. and the thing is here with the gas stations the prices just stay the same at all every gas station yeah. so you don't have to kind of shop around looking for uh, gas stations that are cheaper like we did at home yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, yes. just thought we said quick hi. We'll be back when we get to Liberia. We do okay? the Liberia run. We usually hit Price Smart and the, we do the gringo shopping. Yeah. Uh, there isn't much we buy from the places Walmart, but there's a few things we like to get. So, yeah. anyway, we'll tune in once we get there. Okay, ciao. Pura vida, ciao. So, we're still driving. We are in Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Si. On our way to Liberia Airport. There was no money in the bank machine in Samara. No, like I said before, there was no so money in the bank machine. Find another bank. But anyway, Steve's gonna turn you around and show you. I'm gonna turn you around and show you. I am? A little bit. I, I thought that's what he was doing to start I don't with, know. actually. But. That's what she thought I was doing, but I lied. Let's see if I can do this while we're recording on this. Nope, guess not. Just turn it around. Just turn it around. Well, then I can't see what I'm pointing at. Because I don't have a screen. Just one second. Hold on. We're gonna get you turned around. Pause it. Okay, we're still driving and we are in Santa Cruz. Saint, well, we're almost in Santa Cruz. One kilometer to Santa Cruz. It's Santa Cruz. Tamarindo 36, Liberia 56. And we're going to Liberia Airport to pick up my buddy. 
Liberia is not 56 kilometers. It's because the airport isn't. The sign was wrong. It's in Liberia, but it's not like right in Liberia. It's on the outside. Yes, that's true. It's probably another 25 minutes to Liberia from the airport. It's classified as Liberia Airport, but it's kind of on the outskirts, I guess. Yeah. Like it's probably a good another 25 minutes. We've never been right into Liberia. Yes, we have. We have. Pokemon and all that. Oh, I guess. Oh, there you go. We have been. I just didn't know I was there. I was there. I just didn't know it. So yeah. So this is the roadway. This takes you up to Playa Pataro, um, Tamarin, Tamagringo. There you um, see the sign up there for San Jose, which yep. would be which would be a ways from here. There's the There's bank. Four hours from Samara. There's the bank. Okay. So I gotta stop at the bank, see if we can get some cash. I'm gonna say we could. There's the Banco Nacional there. I gotta zip across even get in the bank machine. Do you want to take this or do you want me to? You just stop it, darling. Pause it. I'm gonna pause you. <laughs> There's a Vienna sausage for everyone. Welcome to Price Smart. So this is Price Mart, which is basically the equivalent of Canadian Costco. Kind of like Costco. Well, smaller. it is. It is it's supposed to be hard at Costco. Oh, here we go. Right here. This is Gringo Land. Look Price at Mart the big pepper. Walmart. Where? Right there. Oh yeah, that's better. Look at. It. Oh here. Well, yeah, so it's four. It's what they bought, but that yeah, lasts a long time. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna last a lot longer yeah. than we got. For sure. We couldn't find we can't find large pepper packs of pepper anymore, so that's why we're buying a big pack of pepper here. This is Liberia. We're in Liberia. Right across from the airport is where this price smart is. Yes, we are right across from the airport. Right directly right now. across the street is the airport. So we're waiting for my buddy to land. Yeah, we're waiting for James to land. They have all sorts of good stuff in here. I bought a shop back. I'm buying a shop back. Yeah, thank you, because you've been driving me freaking crazy about a bloody shop back. Every it. time I we went into a hardware store. Oh, if only we had a shop back. Oh, if the only car, we had a shop yeah. back. I don't know yeah. how many times I've heard that. Clean out our fans and driving me air filter bonkers. The and they're indispensable. And then this is all drinks and we don't really need drinks. So we're going to go this way because Tracy needs, no, we need, um, I'm trying to find chocolate chips back in Canada. I used to buy the big bars of chocolate when I was baking because it's cheaper to do it that way as opposed to buying chocolate chips. But I can't find the big bars of chocolate here like I used to get at Walmart. <coughs> if I'd have thought about it, I'd have asked James to bring me a couple of bars over, but I, I didn't think about it. Oh, and boxes of Auden Bucker 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 popcorn. <laughs> Watch your language, honey. <laughs> Orville, Orville Rickenbacker. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who plays guitar will get that one. <laughs> Any bass players out there will understand Orville Rickenbacker. Is that thunder? It sounds like thunder. Is no, it thunder? It's a jet. It's a jet, I bet. Oh, it's a plane. That's, that's it's right. James Landon. Duh. Oh, duh. But it's James Landon. Yeah, it's, no, it's too early for him yet. It is? Oh, we need more coffee, right? Uh, yeah. Just, we got the well, Leilandi. Did get. you like that? It was good. It's, as long as it's coffee, I don't care. It was good coffee. Yeah, as long as it's coffee, I don't care. Is that I one? Coffee. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Ooh. I need cheese actually. That's what I gotta look for. Oh, cheese. Really and that's over in the coolers. I think so. Well what's that? Is that sliced cheese? Oh, that's all that slices. Oh no, that slices. Cheese, I think. Yeah, but that's not the ones I want, no, babe. No, you want, you want the block. I need the block cheese. The boys like it when I make them pizza. And it's Everybody better to Everybody likes it when you make pizza. Yes. Because it's yummy. So they got big bags of potato chips and yeah, peanuts these are and... Costa Rican brands. Yes, these are Costa Rican you brands. You also can get Lay's and all that, but they're more money, more expensive. Yes. The Costa Rican chips are different. Some are good and some are kind of weird. Yeah, they're different, they're but uh, they're weird. cheaper, a lot cheaper. Yeah, like this pack here, there's a four pack of potato chips in there, and those are pretty much almost um, $8 Canadian. So, then you got a 24 pack of the smalls there, those are 10 bucks. Right there, 4 7 dollars so like $10 Canadian. 
Pringles. Yeah, that's that's uh, almost 30 bucks Canadian. Yeah, for and the that's, Pringles. That's a little cup, a little snack yeah, cups. Yeah, mm-hmm. 48 little snack cups. Yeah. For like 30 bucks. I know, it's cups. crazy. Yeah. Oh, and then we got almonds and stuff. And, see, and you, get, you get the brands from... Yeah, see, so you get the other brands and, and everything here too. But I mean, more money. like these here, these black family chip de rum melange or whatever. They're beet chips. They look like beet. Yeah, is that what they say they are? Beet, beet chips or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Is that, that the price? Yeah, that big, big $12. $12. <gasps> yeah. So, I don't know. I like chips, but I don't like them $12. No. So, Oreos. These are big bulk packs. Like that. $22 for those Oreos. Yeah. For And there's 30 packs of the little cookies in there. Six and they're, cookies and they're and sure, like 20 ones, yeah. Like 20 Yeah. 22 yeah. $2. Dollars, crazy. So... Yeah. But that's because you're there, it's imported. Like if you stay away from the imported buenas stuff. Ah, buenas tardes. What are they? Uh, chips. Oh, chips. Sí. Yeah, He's gonna try nice. some chips. Are these ones here? Yeah. Uh, tum they look really dry. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're plantain. And yuca? Yuca and planter, she said. Yuca and uh -huh. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. It's a crunchy. Mm -hmm. Gracias, gracias, thank you. Which one do I have? Tomato. You got crab? No, but where are they? I think, here. Where are they? Uh, right Oh, down there? Mmm. Mm. I don't know. Thank I don't you. know if I like the plantain. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried it yet. The yuca is really good. Oops. Two second roll. Is that yuca? This is yucca. Let's go see. Ask this. The yucca is delicious. It's too crunchy. Listen. Listen. Oh. Really crunchy. Oh. That's a plantain. Oh, here. Look at the price. Yeah, it's a big pack. But it's two, it's just two packs. Yep. So you get two pack for 10 bucks. I wonder if we could make the plant game one. That's awesome. Yeah, I probably could do them. I just gotta slice them thin and put them in the oven. That's all I gotta do. And salt them. Well, you, you don't have to, but you could, I guess. But yeah, that's all they are. It's just dehydrated plantain and yucca. They're good. I have yucca too. Yeah. Yeah, they're delicious. Yeah, we'll try and make them at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm not recording. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Look at that, they got Twinkies. They actually got Twinkies. They're $12. Is that right? Canadian, yeah. About $13. Yes, we always go by Canadian, not American. So there's 16 Twinkies in there. I'm actually another Twinkie person, but... Yeah, so we're at the airport. We've been shopping and waiting for my buddy, James, to arrive. He just uh, WhatsApped us and told us that he's here. He won't be back here. This is way back, too far. He said we're around where the tour buses are, so... Yeah, somewhere in around there, I'm thinking. I told him to go out where the taxis are. This is Liberia Airport. Which is a very small airport. It's not very big at all. The pickup area is normally over here along the road. This is James's first time traveling, so I'll let him off. <laughs> yeah. He's not been on an aeroplane before. He flies nope. helicopters, but he's never been on an aeroplane. He's never, been, he's never been anywhere, and he's never been on an airplane. So, now we have to find him. But like I say, it's not a Monsters Airport, so it shouldn't be too terribly difficult. I told him to look for the Toyota RAV4 with the coconut basket. So he knows who he's looking for. Can't get through there. There he is right there. Yeah. There he is. You can go walk at me when with your phone. There's the man. 
You made it. I told you it's got hot. Good. I'm glad you made her, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Likewise. You made her. So how was your flight and everything? Good? Five hours. <laughs> yeah. So 20 minute delays. That's not too bad. That's good. Right on. Let me just turn this around if I can. Oh, maybe I can't. Cool, well, well, we'll continue in a minute here. My buddy's here, so it's good. Oh. <laughs> so we just made it home. It's 7.35, but the same time that we left this morning. 12 hours ago. To go to Liberia Tracy's to pick up, pick up my buddy at the airport. James, he's here and he's safe and sound at the Azure Hotel down in Samara. Big fancy hotel, we just dropped him off. We went so, shopping for the casitas today. We went shopping for the casitas and got a few goodies and plates and some kettles and some things. So. Got some beautiful dish sets actually. Yes. For the casitas. So you can all enjoy when you come and stay with us. And guess what else Stephen got because he's been driving me absolutely freaking... I'll show you. Crazy! Because everybody has should have one of these. In, in a world here of dust and dust in the car and dust in the... And so, this is, I got, we got. He drove me bonkers. Oops, I don't know how to turn this around. Oh, I still don't know how to turn this around. Here, I'll do it this way. There. It's uh, Armor All Utility Shop Vac. Yay! Seriously, he drove me freaking nuts for the last like eight since, months. Since we don't have a shop vac. So, and this one was the best price we found on one here. 90 bucks. 90 bucks for this one, which is expensive Four. compared to home, but... 4.5 gallon. But I can use it now to like vacuum off the fans for the dust in the dry season the and for the dust in the air filter on my car that I have no way to suck out and all the bits of the, in the gray, gray cowl of the car. So Tracy and says, Tracy I drove her I nuts. To, I don't have to listen to him anymore. Well, it's another tool. And uh, so it's great. Let me tell you this, okay? Every time something has to be done, anything. Well, if I had, if I had a shot back, if I had a shot back, yep. if I had a shot back, if I had a shot like literally every other day, if yep. I had a shot back, yep. then we go to like Liberia and they'd yep. be stores and they'd be looking out the, um, the shot backs. Well, if I had a shot back, well, if They're I had expensive. a shot back. They're expensive because that's why. Well, other than the fact, I, I think I have at least two in Canada in storage still. Yep. But I don't have them here, so I can't use them. So anyway, that's good. And it's got, this one's got the reusable filter because they had some here, the cartridge. Yeah, the filter. Price Smart had a great big unit, and it looked okay, but it's got like a big cartridge filter, and it's like, well, that's fine, I and mean, when you need to replace it, where do you buy it? And so this one's good. This one's got like a washable cloth filter and the sponge for using it wet, too, which I could have used in the car. We had a leak in the car, which I fixed since, we and I could have used some, it for that. We and got so. some really nice protector sheets for the mattresses today, really nice protector sheets for the mattresses, we did? for the casitas, yeah. You bought them? Yeah, they're in the, in the, in the spare room. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Well, anyway, really so there nice. we go. We got protector sheets for the mattresses. And we, kettles. Got a lot, we got a line on where to buy some mattresses, too, from a guy at... Uh, Price Mart. Price Mart we met. We saw Simon there, we saw Sue there. Simon from <laughs> Limey's, we bumped into there, and Sue that we'd met. Was her name Sue? Yeah. And with, uh, yeah we, we just met because we got a free lamp from... Her and her husband, we were just down there, we met her the other day, and she was there, sort of bumping into everybody you know in Liberia. So it's kind of funny. Simon had bottles, of, was picking up booze. So <laughs> I told him, I told him I could help him buy them if he wanted to, but they might be empty by the time I got them out of the store. But <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so Simon was, was there. It was hot today. Very hot day today, but we, we got a little bit of cloud cover coming home. It got nice and cool. So James' first day in Costa Rica, and his yeah. first flight ever. And tell, so, him what, tell him what he said, the, the captain said when he got on the plane. Oh, they were, they were delayed 20 minutes, and so he says he's, this is the first time he's ever been on it. He's been in helicopters. He flies, he flies helicopters. helicopters. He likes to go out and fly helicopters, but he uh, he said he's sitting in the plane in the jet, and uh, the, the captain, and they're going to be, it says, comes up on the screen, I guess, in the seat, sort of says there's going to be a 20 minute delay. And so the captain comes on and says, apologizes for the 20 minute de delay because there was me mechanical issues. <laughs> so James is sitting there thinking, no, he said it out loud because everybody Yeah, he was on loud. the speaker. Yeah, he said it on the speaker. He said, there, we've had mechanical, there was mechanical issues, so there was 20 minute delay, and James was sitting there thinking, first time I've ever run a jet, he's thinking, should the captain, like, be telling no, everybody? he said it out loud. That's what he said out loud because everybody on the plane started laughing. That's, that, who said it out James, loud? James, that's what he said it out loud. He said, Oh, so, uh, sorry, I thought you were talking about the captain. I didn't know that James said that. So. No, so the, the, the captain said there had been mechanical issues, and when that, he said that, James said, Oh my God, do you really need to be telling me that now? Like, this is the first time I've ever flown on a plane? And of course, everybody on the plane started laughing, right? Because he's like, 
he's never been on a plane like he flies helicopters but he's never been on a plane like he's never been outside of Canada right so of course he gets on there and there's a 20 minute delay and it was because of mechanical yeah. issues yeah so I don't know if it's a good thing for the pilot to really be telling people that to start with I'd be that was with Sunwing yeah Sunwing he flew with apparently well, and then actually, and the food he said too that's a good I have a question actually for all of you that fly because I've flown lots then I have a question anybody had to pay for their meals on the planes so apparently when um, Jace was flying with someone today, they were charging him for his meal. We've, well, I've he, never done that. He ever. wasn't sure if they were charging him for his meal, but he said they, the lady came along with a debit machine, which he said made sense for booze, to buy booze. Well, but yeah. if you get free food, they should give it to every passenger, and he wasn't given it. And she had a debit machine, with, and she had food, so he's under the impression that you had to pay for the food. I would I've think never it, seen that before. So, and I, 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 I haven't flown as often, but I, any time I have flown, even as a kid, we flew to England, and we never paid for food booze, yes. That was 50 years ago. Yes. Well, so? <laughs> so, we didn't pay for food. And we didn't pay for food when we flew here, and when I flew to California, I didn't pay for food, and you've flown, and you never paid for food. I've flown a lot, so... so I've, yeah, I've flown lots, and I've never, ever had to pay for food. Never had ah. to pay for it. So, I, I, and he surprised me when he said, oh, they were, they, they were charging me for my food, and I'm like, what? He said, yeah, they're charging me for my... That was with Sunwing, so I'm curious. If anybody's flown... Oh, he also said... It was funny, though. Sorry to interrupt you. He also said, though... He said the girl that sat next to him asked for water. And I guess he gave her, like, what was the equivalent of, like, a shot glass. Yeah, of <laughs> Like, a paper cup shot glass of water. This is, this like, we flew, we flew Copa when we came here. Copa. And it was, as soon as we got on the plane, they gave us all a bottle of water. Like, you know, like, regular size, nice I mean, size bottle of water. Like, but, like, a little... You no, know, it was, like... No, it was, no, a, it was just a little stubby bottle. Oh, well, anyway, but... but it was at least a it bottle, was a bottle water. of water. Anyway, yeah. And apparently, yeah. He was expecting they'd give her a bottle of water. So and I guess he's he was wondering if maybe they only fly with half a tank of water or something. Maybe they're running low. <laughs> they, he wondered if they're going to ask him next not to flush the toilets or something. And he but wasn't flying. He was flying. What, didn't he say he was flying first class? No. Not that I know. Oh, I thought he said he was flying first class. I don't think so. Oh, it, uh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm just yeah, I don't curious. think so because he was, he was stiff and aching like we were stiff and aching yeah, from, dro oh. from the 737s. They're not roomy planes. The seats aren't good. So he, and he was, he, if he had flown first class, he'd probably been feeling a little bit better. So. But anyway, but, my question, anyway, anybody, I'm yeah. curious. If you've flown and you've had to pay for your meals, let us know. Because like I said, I've never had to pay for my I mean, I know they're included in your flight, but this was extra. Like they were charged them extra so. on top of his ticket. Like so, his flight. Yep. So anyway, he's here. He's safe. He's at the hotel. Tomorrow we're gonna go pick him up. We're gonna look at a couple of properties. So maybe we'll take we'll take you with us just to get an idea of what we're gonna be showing him. That uh, we know for sure some of the properties aren't really what he's interested in, but he's gonna look at them anyway because everything you look at, you get an idea for prices and what you can and can't get and what you can and can't do here. So so yeah. So there you go. He's here for a week. And I'm not good. I've been driving like yeah, hours. I'm tired. It's a long day. So. Anyway, we're back home and yeah. I got to sound back and you jump back, jump back. <laughs> Buenas noches. Pura vida. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, share. Yeah, and do all we'll that. Be back tomorrow. Do all that stuff you're supposed to do. Please. I'm having a cup of tea. Ciao.